Welcome to the Evan Michael Show, starring Evan Michael Pinsonall. Welcome to the Evan Michael Show. Ladies and gentlemen, thrilled to be here at the Peppermint Creek Theater, always a fantastic performing arts space. Mr. John Dale Smith. Good evening. Good to have you here. The world-class city man, doesn't they sound fantastic? Oh, yeah. These guys know how to do it. These guys know how to do it. We are very excited that this show is, is so presidential. John Dale. I mean, we're moving up in the world, ladies and gentlemen. And why would that be? Well, one, you have your little Secret Service device on right there. Right, I'm listening to the basketball game right now. <laughs> You're multitasking. What? Multitasking. <laughs> yes, I am. We call that multitasking. But, uh, but a, a, a big headline for our area, not too long ago, the President of the United States came to visit East Lansing, came to visit campus. And I, you know what, John Dale, I know we're both, you know, talking politics here, but let's put that aside. Let's put that aside. The, just the theatricality of the president coming to town is worthy of mention. Would you agree? Perfectly. But, but were, you, were you there? I was there. I had the pleasure of going and covering it as a part of that other profession that I, rumor has it, that I do in the mornings. Uh, you know. Did you actually interview him? Well, you know what? Uh, I tried. I did try to interview the president. There are these uh, people that uh, surround him. They wear suits, and they're called Secret Service. They were not big fans of mine. Uh, they evidently, you know, they want to keep a bit of a buffer between you and him. I guess that's just protocol. I guess that's just regulation. They, they had done a, a, a search. They on did a background, background check. Yeah. They did a background check. Things you shouldn't do when the president visits. <laughs> you should not make any gestures towards your ear or fix your tie or adjust your pocket square. Right. Or else that little red dot will show up, and that's not from the camera. <laughs> that is not from the camera. I, I, so it was a very educational experience. But we always joke that when it comes to impersonations, I'm the worst at the president's. Oh, the worst, everybody. It's like my what, rich... What do you do well? Well, I'm still trying to find that out. I'm okay. still, it's a discovery process, but like my Richard Nixon blends in with my Reagan. It's like a, oh, I'm not a crook, Nancy. You know, it's just, it's awful. I, I can't really, like the only one I got down is like Gerald Ford, like, oh, hello. That's about all I got. I can only do Gerald Ford, and that's not even Gerald Ford. That's Chevy Chase doing Gerald Ford. So what I came up with, I came up with, I'm going to master and you can cue my, my theme song right here, I think. I'm going to master impersonating the lesser known presidents. That way, when you hear the impersonation, you'll never know if I was right or if I was wrong. There is no way to fact check how good or bad my presidential impersonation is. For example, if I were to pretend to be William Henry Harrison. Oh, I thought you were gonna keep playing. No. Oh. <laughs> I really like that. I was getting used to that. I could walk around all day like that. Oh, hello. Yes, hello. Yes, indeed. The president. Hello, hello. But no, what I was joking about was William Henry Harrison, right? Do you know who he is? Anyone know who he is? No, William Henry who Harrison, was he? Millard Fillmore, John Quincy Adams. These are all guys that, well, let's just say they made a few mistakes. One didn't wear a coat when it was really cold during his inauguration day. So all you have to do is shiver, and you got that impersonation down, right? Just shiver, and that's down. We had John Quincy Adams. His dad was president, so all you really have to do is be a spoiled child and just run around and scream. You got that down. Millard Fillmore didn't run as a Democrat, didn't run as a Republican, made up his own political party. In fact, let's take a look at some of these lesser known presidential impersonations. Mr. President, Mr. President, do you need a coat? No, no coat. For I, William Henry Harrison, Billy to my friends, shall revel for 137 pages on this glorious inaugural day in how my administration will forever shape the course of American political history. Yes, temperatures may be in the single digits, and the skies to the we west look ominous, but I shall brave the elements the same way our people have braved each day. Oh, I really hope this doesn't come back to bite me in about 30 days. Mr. President, Mr. President, what party are you running under? I, Millard Fillmore, have invented my own political party, the Know Nothing Party. Why, you ask? I, Millard Fillmore, know nothing. Ha! Oh. On second thought, maybe I should rethink this plan before my second term. 
Mr. President, Mr. President, wasn't your father also president? Why does everybody always ask me that? Yes, my dad was president, okay? Yes, my dad is John Adams. Whoopity do, but I'm the president now. You hear that, Dad? I'm the president. John Quincy Adams. That's right, I added Quincy to my name. They will think John Quincy Adams. I hate you, Dad. I hate you. <laughs> you know, it's, they're not the best impersonations. They're not the best. No, no. They're not the best, but like we, like we said, you got to start somewhere. In fact, when we get back, we're going to start off with one of the photographers who covered the president. She is joining us on The Evan Michael Show to reveal some exclusive presidential photographs. Miss Maggie May, when we get back on The Evan Michael Show. Well, I don't need a whole lot of money. Welcome back to The Evan Michael Show. Our first guest tonight, a beautiful and talented photographer, a capturer of moments, if you will. You've seen her pictures in work all over our state, all over the Capital Region, from the Special Olympics to the Auto Show, and now the President of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and welcome out Margaret Hare, Miss Maggie May. Hey, Maggie, I think I got something to say. Well, it's late September, and I really should be back at school. I know I'll keep you confused, but I feel I'm being you. I figured you would love that song as your entrance music. And that's how I became Maggie Mae. There it was. All that rocking out with Rod Stewart, hence the glasses. I think those were his. Those are actually Rod Stewart's glasses, I think. <laughs> We're not sharing any more of those. Okay, stories. okay, that, that's, that's off the record. Something on the record, the fact that you and I got to work together to cover, and we will say film, the capture of the president, because that other term about how a camera takes a picture you can't use under those circumstances. <laughs> the word shoot. Yes, thank you. We're going to have to beep that out. <laughs> that's actually a swear word when the president is in town. What was that like? I mean, look at all that pomp and circumstance. When you arrived, it was just like a circus. Oh, it was. It was an incredible circus. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we got in a lot of trouble with the Secret Service. They know us very well, so we're being incognito. <laughs> hey, it's, it's good to be on the radar, right? We are on the radar. We are on the radar. In fact, we have a special behind-the-scenes clip of some of the tomfoolery that me, you, and POTUS, as he is oh, known, God, to yes. the Secret Service. Let's take a look. Yep, the president's gone. I missed him, and it's now cleanup time here on campus. You probably heard all the political bits of information you need to about the speech, but I leave you with these fun facts. The president of the United States loves the Spartans. I am also here uh, to do some scouting on my brackets. <laughs> Spartans are looking pretty good. I know things were a little wild for a while, had some injuries. And he hates the fact that in college he had one of the messiest dorms around. Some students are even raising their own piglets on an organic farm. When I was in college, I lived in a pigsty. That's no joke, by the way. That's... Your hygiene improves as you get older. President Barack Obama, the commander-in-chief, but man, does he have a great personality. Yep, so, you know, we tried. We tried to meet the president, as we joked about earlier. That's tough to do. Very tough. That's tough to do. However, when you have a lens like, like yours. We have the big lens. The big lens. We are almost as if we're right next to them. Let's take a look at some of these amazing photos. A world exclusives, folks. All right, now, what are we seeing here? Is that the, is that the seal here? We'll have this you is, hold it right to the camera. This is one of the Secret Service gentlemen coming in with the seal. That now, is the presidential seal. Yes, a lot of people were at the podium prior to that, but they cannot have the presidential seal on the podium only the president. So here he there is coming go. out. He's coming out, and let's take a look at the next one here. This is the, because he was in town to sign the farm bill. He was signing the farm bill, and you have uh, quite the, uh, the, the, the close-up of, of the world's most expensive pen right there. <laughs> the, John Daly, I believe that pen is uh, probably priceless. I'm sure it is. Uh, it, it is, or as Jerry um, would say from uh, Seinfeld, it writes upside down. It's an amazing pen. Did you try to get the pen? I, I, like that. Okay. Couldn't even get close. They slapped you like you were in school. One of my favorite photos here, we're going to play Name That Person. 
Name that person, okay? We're going to hold this up. John Dale, can you name that person? Uh, is that our executive director? <laughs> <laughs> if we add a little bit more, uh, you know, uh, some darker colors on the sides, make the glasses a little bit more round. He looks, he looks like a Power Ranger. It could, <laughs> it could be. No, the, the, one of the most important people uh, who was there was Secretary Vilsack. Secretary Vilsack was there. Let's take a look at somebody else. Name this person. Playing a fun game here with uh, with Maggie May. You're making me look rather stupid here. No, no, no. Here, okay. He saw it. Let's, oh, let, let's let the viewers see it. We, we know that. You know that. That's Debbie Stabenow. That's Senator Stabenow. Right. She was there, very excited, always beautiful, always smiling. And and who else? Someone very, very famous is up next. Someone really important who had the what? I, well, I mean, that can count, too. I guess that can count, too. That is what I got in trouble for. Don't reach to your pocket when Secret Service is there. <laughs> Things not to do, correct? Exactly. OK, and let's get to the goods right here. Evan, what were you actually looking for? Hold on, John Dale, enough of me. OK. Put me down. I was actually looking for my notes. And there he is. Look at that beautiful, beautiful picture. There is Mr. President. He's got the flag behind him, the state of Michigan, actually greeting a farmer who introduced him, a local Michigan guy. Let's, this is a great one. Tell us a little bit about this one, Mags, because I know you'd love this one. This is your favorite. I think he heard us. We were talking through the whole thing. <laughs> that, was, that was his reaction to, uh, to just how effervescent we were. Exactly. On stage. And there he was smiling. As we wrap these up, as we put these all together, your favorite memory, besides us working together, obviously, from that day as we go to break. Well, it was wonderful to watch him sign the bill. There it was. And here he is signing. And of course, from a photographer's point of view, he had to be left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to uh, really zoom in tight. Really zoom in tight. Hey, you captured a piece of history. Thank you so much for sharing well, on the you. Evan Michael Show. Much love to you, my dear. Mwah. And as, as the president said to us now, we all need a pardon. <laughs> so pardon the interruption. We're coming right back more with the Evan Michael Show. Our next group on the Evan Michaels Show, they are the foremost barbershop chorus in Lansing. After our show, they're going to go, I think, perform at the White House with the president. I'm calling him right now backstage after that previous segment. In fact, they have performed all over the state and the country and internationally because Canada counts, boys. Canada counts international from organized quartets to tag singing to ensemble numbers. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Capital City Chordsmen. Your Capital City Chordsmen, you're going to want to jump on board with them in just a little bit, a special performance, and they'll be previewing a special event at the Wharton Center. Stay tuned. Well, Kansas City. From a presidential photographer to an amazing barber shop chorus, we are now moving on to movies. Our next guest on The Evan Michaels Show, he is a Lansing native, an award-winning director, writer, actor, and editor. He's the founder of Rebel Pictures, and his films have premiered at 75 film festivals, not only in the U.S., but also internationally. Put your hands together for Mr. Michael McCallum, ladies and gentlemen. You got your own theme music, though. I hope at one point in time to have my own. Might be a Bond villain Ooh. type sound. Who knows? But. I like that, like a blow one. That's <laughs> Dr. Evil. Michael, but. The, the theme is really for the band. It's not for Evan. Oh, ah, good. Well, <laughs> at, at least it's clarified. Yeah. If, hey, if you need a band for your next uh, film project. There you go. There you go. That, we'll, we'll be glad to do it. There you go. We're filming right now, so can we go right now? <laughs> I, got I think right. you found a better gig. <laughs> We're not doing anything right That's now. That's it, everybody. The show's over. Michael stolen my <laughs> said. Thanks so much for being hey, here. Thanks for having me, man. What, one of the things that I, I love about the work that you do, and I think it's a testament to the Lansing area and the Capital Region, is the fact that you have the ability to not only produce and film here, but use local talent, too. Is that a big reason why you've had some of the success? Completely. I think it's, it's really important for... They look other places when it's right here. Just like a variety show where we try to bring in all of the elements from our region, you're doing the same thing with film, but not just film, also music videos. Exactly. I've never done a music video before. I always kind of... Uh, yes, in yep. fact, I believe we have that clip right now. Let's take yeah. a look. That looks great. I think it's made John, so much. John Dale jealous. You've always wanted to have your own music video. Have you, have you not? Of course. And what would your theme be? What kind of fool am I? <laughs> We'll talk after we'll the show. We'll talk. 
Can I audition? <laughs> well, you're the theme. Oh, I'm the lead. Okay, that's great. In fact, would you stick around? Let's talk a little bit more about Please. some upcoming projects. Yeah, it'd be great. Okay, keep it right here. Thank you. Welcome back to the Evan Michaels Show. Mr. John Dale Smith playing with the band. I think he's auditioning for you. I Michael. think so. And he's got the gig. He's got the gig. Did you hear You're that? You're in, man. You're in. That's terrific. Award-winning filmmaker Michael McCallum, folks, back with us after the break. He just signed John Dale Smith for his next project and maybe the president. Exclusive contracts. There you go. There you go. It's going to be quite the movie, but not just movies. We were talking before the break about music videos, yes. and you have another upcoming project. You're running with this whole concept. Yeah, I am. Well, so oh, while everybody goodness. else was, you know, uh, warming up, we were outside filming, and there so were So they moments. were in the dark, and right. you were uh, filming. They could have used right. some of your light. There was a, yeah, there was a moment, we tried to stay warm by the lights. Um, <laughs> and there was also a moment when we were filming, I'm like, Who's, uh, whose bright idea was it to film? Uh, oh, wait, that was mine. Oh, that was yours, that yes. That was mine. Because when I think location shooting, uh, in late December, I do think Michigan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a yes, second, well, when, when are we filming? December through February? We'll yeah, that's a perfect time. Yeah. That's oh, wonderful. Let's no, Michigan. See. Let's go there. I, I am a masochist. So we've seen some music video clips. We talked a little bit about your film projects. Again, before yeah. you leave us, your background that got you into film that is, and that has also kept you here, because sure. I think people would like to hear that. Yeah, I'm proud to hold that flag up for Lansing as high as I can. So. And lastly, because there are some very talented students working on this, uh, on our show from, excuse me, the MSU Com Arts program yeah, yeah. and a lot of up and coming filmmakers in the area. What advice would you give to, to students who are in school now who are trying to pursue this as a career? Never giving up, never give up. Stay at it. Mr. Michael McCallum, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much. Thank Look you. forward to checking out your videos really and best of luck with the new premiere. Thank you so much. Lots sir. more coming on the Evan Michael Show. Thank you. One of the great things about having a variety show that puts the spotlight on all of the wonderful performers, both on stage and behind the scenes from and throughout the Capital Region, John Dale Smith, is the fact that we get to do it in front of a live studio audience, just like the golden age of television, like the Merv Griffin Show, the Show of Shows. I'm too young to remember any of that. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That, exactly right. YouTube. You can YouTube them later on. But it's just, it's, it, it really picks up the energy so much more when you have that live audience. And one of the ways that we have been trying to connect with the audience even more is letting them play the job of the reporter, of the host, and fire some questions at me. You mean they're going to be asked to, to give you a question and you're going to answer? I'm going to attempt to answer. This segment might not last very long. <laughs> this might be the shortest segment of the show. We'll take a vote on this. We're going to take a vote on it later. But we do have some audience members, I do believe, because during the commercial break, they were, I think they were trying to stump me, maybe some presidential history. But let's start our Q&A session here on The Evan Michael Show. Can you do some soft shoe for us right now? <laughs> so, that, you, you know what? Uh, I can... I think my shoes are soft, if that, if that, uh, what, what would soft shoe be? Would that be like a little bit of, no, that's, not that's not soft shoe? W would you like to do the soft shoe? No, I'm I, the piano player. I think you should do the soft shoe. I think the band was just like, John Dale knows soft shoe. In fact, uh, you know what, a lot of the, that's, a, that's, a, that's a, not only a fun question, but a funny request, because if you'll notice, all of my performances that have ever been filmed where I've danced, they're all from the knee up. <laughs> <laughs> My feet are never filmed <laughs> when they're captured when I dance. I did Dancing with the Local Stars last year, and they came out and did a whole piece. I, did you win on that? that that's still under consideration. Okay. That, that's still being debated about. But I, the whole video was from here up. And, and you know, my dance partner, she told me great advice. Uh, Danielle Selby from Happen Dance. She said, Evan, as long as you sell it, they'll forgive the feet. They'll forgive the soft shoe, the hard shoe, the no shoe, the tap shoe. Whatever shoe you got, if you can sell it up here and look like you're having a good time, they'll forgive the feet. They didn't forgive the four, the four falls or her drop, but they forgave everything else. We have time for one more question. And the question is, how quickly can you wrap this segment? Let me think about it. In three, two, one, we'll be right back. Answered. <laughs>
presidentially speaking, presidentially speaking, things that you shouldn't do to a TV host, dare him to try to name all of the presidents during a newscast. That happened recently in town, and needless to say, the White House has called. A good Monday morning, Mid-Michigan. I'm Evan, he's Jake, and in the words of George Washington, oh, here we go. John Adams, <laughs> Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, and James Monroe, Happy President's Day to you. Mm -hmm. A day where we should celebrate the likes of John Quincy Adams, Andrew Jackson, my dear friend William Henry Harrison, along with our many other commanders in chief. It's almost as if you're trying to mention all of them today. Well, I'll tell you, the, the <laughs> last gentleman I mentioned, good advice, something he did not do. William Henry Harrison, of course, known for forgetting to wear his coat during a cold morning, <laughs> dying 30 days later. It was oh. a very tough administration. Oh, Things no. not to do today, Jake Dunn. Wear your coat, don't be a William Henry Harrison. The only thing that could save us on this President's Day is some sort of <laughs> an amendment, much like Martin Van Buren and John Tyler once made when the weather got bad in the early 1800s. Oh, yeah, all day, all, all I'll morning. I'll need a presidential day. pardon if this keeps <laughs> up, you know. Pardon, pardon the weather guy. That's right, we will. We will. Thank you, Richard Nixon. <laughs> Let's take a look at Facebook, where uh, a lot of people are James Knox polking each other. See what I did there? Thank you. Thank you. He got it. It is 521 on this Zachary Taylor Day. I mean, Millard Fillmore Day. As I like to say, thanks for waking up with Franklin Pierce. James Buchanan, Abraham Lincoln, Andrew Johnson, and Ulysses S. Grant. And a few. Oh, anyway, the, the winners Ford, will be announced. A, just pulled a Gerald Ford and fell there. Celebrating President's Day. That's right. Do people do that? I do. Well, I meant normal Evan. people. Yeah, I'm going to go out to it. dinner and raise a glass to the likes of Rutherford B. Hayes, James Garfield. Chet I'm sorry. Arthur. I'm so sorry. You, yeah, you brought that one up. Grover Cleveland <laughs> twice. He was elected twice. Nine consecutive turns. How many more do you have? Just so we know. About when 20. It's over. February 17th. A happy Benjamin Harrison Day to you as we get our President's Day going. Had to give Benny a shout out because I forgot to reference him earlier. Of course, there's no school today because right. of President's Day, and I'm glad you're over here because Evan wouldn't be over here spitting off more presidential names. <laughs> <laughs> And he still finds a way to do it from across the studio. But just because the kids are off school doesn't mean they need to take a break from learning. That's right. You should learn all about Teddy Roosevelt and <laughs> William Howard Taft and Woodrow Wilson. Our area has had a tough winter like this was way back during the, the Warren Harding, Calvin Coolidge, Herbert Hoover administration. I think we saw a few former presidents <laughs> at the BAFTA <laughs> Awards. I think George Bush and... Barack Obama were there. Don't oh, quote really? Me on that. Were they? they? Hey, thank you very much, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Harry S. Truman, Dwight David Eisenhower. I like Ike, as Jake would say. Wanted to break a world record. I'm trying to break one right now by referencing the names of <laughs> such wonderful presidents like John F. Kennedy, Lyndon Johnson. From me to you to presidents like Ronald Reagan, George Bush, Bill Clinton, and Jimmy Carter. Because on this President's Day, I got 44 presidents in. You did. Got him in. You did. From George Washington to Barack really Obama. a long morning. <laughs> and all the Zachary Taylors, John Tylers, and Miller Fillmores in between. Welcome back to the Evan Michael Show. You just saw us name every president during a local newscast. Uh, in a minute, we'll try to name all the cordsmen, because that might be just as challenging. But thankfully, we have Charlie here to help us out. But before we get to that, James, tell us a little bit about James Hall, one of the creative minds and voices behind the Capital City Corpsmen. Don't you be smirking back there, you guys. They're like, oh, I don't know about that. That's not his title. Well, thanks, Evan. Um, yeah, three times this many guys, because we actually have 35 guys. We will have. This is the small group. This is our mini chorus. Yep. These are the mini chorus. That's right. That's we We're couldn't fit, we couldn't fit our here. whole group here for you. Sorry about that. That's but okay. That's okay. Happy to bring them here to the Lansing area. Well, we're happy to have you on the show. We understand we have one more number to do before we get to that. I'd like to have Charlie introduce all of our chordsmen for us. Okay, you guys, get your best. You know. Vanna White smile and wave going. I'm going to step out of the way. Let me yep, see. You put the mic in there because I think you're okay. You're starting need over. That. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Shoveling, shoveling down, rambling, heading for town, hustling, buzzing around, happily awaiting at station. Looking up at seven on nine, huffing and puffing and riding on time. Who do you think's about to ride? The band called the Dixieland Five. Ra da 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 da, ra da 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 da, ra da 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 da. They're gonna play that. Must grab, ramble too. Like you never heard 
it play. Join in the big parade. All together now, one, one man and two, to join the happy throng. Feel me that rambling, scrambling, muskrat song. Come on and ramble up. Ra da da, ra da da, ra da 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 to Ladies and gentlemen, your Capital City Corpsman. We look forward to the performance at the Warren Center. Stay with us. What a show it has been. Variety truly is the spice of life here on the Evan Michael Show. Mr. John Dale Smith and the World Class City Band. They sounded fantastic. Thank you. All night long. Thank you. And we also got to get got to give it up for our stars of the show. We had James Hall and the Capital City Chordsman, Michael McCallum, noted filmmaker, and Maggie May. <laughs> one last picture. We had to get one last picture, and thank you all for coming on. Our next gig, all of us together, we must travel to this man's home and perform there. A White House gig, what do you think? Sure. Let's all do it. Okay, good, good. And we could use your help, too, out in the audience. Tweet about it, Facebook it, like our page, spread the word. Let's get even more people to support the creative and the performing arts around mid-Michigan and the capital region. Special thank yous, Mr. John Dale, with the theme song, because that's how we like to close each show. Of course, to all of our guests on stage, to Chad Badgero and our friends at Peppermint Creek Theater Company, our friends from Canada, Lafkew, Hotel La Home Benefactors, of course, the group College of Communication of Arts and Sciences at MSU who are working hard to film, produce, shoot, I mean, tape, do lighting, do sound, everything behind the scenes that we need. A big shout out and thank you to them and our new interns on board The Evan Michael Show. Lots more coming your way, including next week, a look at local theater in the vein of a very famous French inspector. Plus, the sultry jazz sounds of Sonny Wilkinson and Ron Newman. Thanks for watching the Evan Michael Show. Good night, Mid Michigan. And remember, variety truly is the spice of life. The Evan Michael Show is filmed on location at the Peppermint Creek Theater Company.